In this segment, we're going to look at second order differential equations where we have a, a y double prime as part of our, our initial problem. Uh, we're going to start out with something just really basic. Uh, we'll just do y double prime equals x squared. Um, so uh, just like we have uh, in the past, we uh, are looking at a separable problem. We already have the y's on one side, the x's on the other. Um, when you're dealing with a second order or a second derivative, I really recommend that you use the prime notation. It's going to serve you a lot. It's going to be a little easier to just keep track of the x, dx's and dy's. Um, so if you're lucky enough to have a, like a y double prime notation, integrate both sides, and uh, um, you uh, basically with this y double prime, what you are dealing with is d squared y over dx squared uh, equals x squared. Um, and uh, you are multiplying one of these dx's up to the top, and one of the d's um, is coming out. The derivative um, is, is coming off. So you have dy over dx. Uh, uh, anyway, you're going to end up with y prime equals x squared plus c. So, like I said, imagine one of the dx's has come up here and you're integrating. Yeah, I don't worry too much about this. Um, but y prime equals x squared plus c. Um, I'm going to call that c1 uh, because you're going to have to do this all over again. You know, dy over dx equals x squared plus c1 multiplied by dx, and you get dy equals x squared plus c1 times dx. Uh, now, if you integrate both sides, you get y equals x cubed over 3 uh, plus c1 times x and then plus c2. I'm using subscripts because the constants are not necessarily the same number. They're, they're totally different numbers. Um, in order to, and this is the general solution. In order to solve for the particular solution with the second order, you need two initial conditions. So here we don't have any... Um, let's look at some examples where we have initial conditions given. Uh, so this is your second order differential equation. Uh, we're given um, at uh, x, x equals 1, y equals 5, and dy over dx equals 3. So this is my, these are my two facts. x is 1, y is 5. That's one fact. And then the second fact is at x equals 1, the derivative is 3. Um, so we'll start this out. Um, multiply off one of my um, um, uh, dx's, and we're going to have um, just the integral of y double prime um, dx uh, with respect to x with respect to y, 24x squared minus 10 dx. Uh, we basically just get y prime. Uh, this is going to be 24x cubed over 3 minus 10x plus, I'll call that c1, but I'm actually not going to leave it as c1. Uh, but we're just going to go ahead and solve for it immediately. It's your choice to solve for it now or at the end. Uh, in this case, I think it's probably just easiest to, to keep make it a number as soon as you can. Uh, dy over dx is 3, um, and uh, x is 1, so it's 8 times 1 cubed minus 10 times 1 plus c1. So we could say 8 minus 10 is negative 2. Add that over, and c1 equals 5. Uh, so my first derivative for dy over dx is 8x cubed minus 10x plus 5. Uh, multiply off your dx. So dy equals... Um, 8x cubed minus 10x plus 5 dx. 
integrate both sides and you get y equals 8x to the fourth over 4 minus 10x squared over 2 plus 5x, I'm just going to say plus c2. Um, and we know that when x is 1, y is 5. So we have 5 equals 2 times 1 minus 5 times 1 plus 5 times 1 plus c2. Uh, minus 5 and plus 5 cancel out. 2 plus c2 equals 5. c2 equals 3. And so you get y equals 2x to the fourth minus 5x squared plus 5x plus 3. That is your initial um, problem that if you took its second derivative, you would end up with uh, the 24x squared minus 10. A way to check yourself with any differential equation is just to feel free to take the derivative of this twice and see if you get uh, 24x squared minus 10. Uh, so hopefully that is um, uh, simple enough.